Hey, are you looking for a great Cinderella story to share with your students and your kids with a Caribbean twist? I've got the story for you, and the title is called Song Drion, written by Robert Sansucci and illustrated by Brian Pinkney. If you want to learn details, stay tuned, and I can't wait to share. Hello everyone, my name is Jebe Edmonds and I am the founder and CEO of Jebe Cultural Consulting. I am so passionate in sending and sharing as many multicultural educational resources to you all that you can use at home, in school, or even in your office. So for today, we're going to work with the kids today and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite, favorite books, Cendrillon. It is a Caribbean Cinderella. What I love about this book is it's got wonderful Creole words in it that students can listen while you read it. For example, we have, you know, bon dieu, and we even have food au pain, and um, all kinds of fun, fun Creole words that the students and yourself can practice along with. What I love about this Cinderella tale is when you've heard of the traditional Cinderella where the fairy godmother just appears out of nowhere to help Cinderella on her way. The twist that I love about this, her nanin, her fairy godmother, was there since she was born. And it is such a wonderful, wonderful story. The illustrations by Brian Pinkney are top notch. And I also want you to share with your students that you know, traditionally we know our Cinderella's to be of European descent, but this Cinderella, of course, is Afro-Caribbean. And so I wanted to also give a twist of representation of all walks of life. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful tale. And I am not affiliated with the publishing company. It's just one of my favorite, favorite books that I have shared in my classroom for many, many years. Um, your students are going to see and compare uh, and contrast uh, the Cinderella tale that they are already used to knowing. But what I love about this story, it just has beautiful representation. And like I said, those beautiful French Creole words that really bring breath and depth to the story. Your students will look at the vibrant story of Cendrillon and get to see the wicked stepmother. Yep, yep, she still exists in the story as well. And a wicked stepsister, Vitaline. So you and your students are going to go through this tale and get to know and see what it all entails. I have created a companion lesson plan um, for fourth graders. Um, but if you also are interested, I even took it a step further and created a 10 day unit on Cinderella stories from around the world that you might be interested in as well. You can find Cinderella's lesson plan and Cinderella stories from around the world on my website, jebaedmonds.com forward slash shop. Um, both of these stories and tales, I love a good fairy tale. And I want to make sure that your students get to know and learn different fairy tales from around the world and also think and broaden their horizons and know of different groups of people and that they exist and that everything can be magical when you put a little twist to it as well. So make sure you check out this wonderful book, Cendrillon, written by Robert Sansucci, and make sure you can like and subscribe to my channel, uh, Mrs. Edmonds Cultural Corner, for more of my favorite book picks. Well, that's it for today and take care. Yeah.